What is a UV map? In 3D programs, objects are created from polygons. To apply image or textures to these objects, we need to unwrap the surface, converting the 3D model into a 2D layout. Then we have the 2D object in a single plane, and this plane is called UV map. This map has two coordinates, starting from the bottom left corner at zero. The first one is U, representing the horizontal axis in red. And the second one is B, representing the vertical axis in green. That's why it's called UV map, horizontal vertical map. And when both axes and colors mix, we get this yellow color in the top right corner. Now, if we apply an image to this UV map, the image will be projected on the 2D layout. Once we wrap this flat layout back in the 3D object, the image is projected over its surface. For example, when we wrap presents with paper, it's like applying a UV map. In fact, you have been seeing UV maps your whole life without realizing it, like maps of the Earth. If you think about it, an Earth map is just a UV map of the Earth, which is a 3D object. So with this explanation, I hope you understand better what is a UV map. Now, if you want to see the texture coordinates of a UV map in Blender, let's use a simple plane. Let's go to Mesh, Plane. Let's select this view, and let's make it bigger, and let's open this tab. And let's select the Shade Editor. Let's press N to hide this, and let's create a new material. To see the texture coordinates, we need to select the Material view. And now, if we go here, we have to delete this, and search for Texture Coordinate. And the only thing you have to do is to connect UV to Surface. And now we can see these colors. Here we have the U axis, like X, like this one, and in vertical we have the B axis, like the Y axis. If you want to isolate this axis, what you can do is to use separate axis. And now we are seeing the X axis in black and white. If you want to see it, in his color, then let's use again Combine. And now we can see this red color because we are taking the three axes and using only the X axis to combine it again and see this color. So this one is the UV axis, remember that goes from 0 to 1 in this direction. That's why this part is black and this part is more red. And if you want to see the other axis, the V axis, then let's disconnect this one and connect Y with Y. So now we are seeing the V axis, remember, vertical, that goes from black, from 0 to 1, in this direction. And if we combine both, we get this color, yellow, because yellow is the mix between green and red. And here we don't use Z because we don't have a 3D object, it's just a flat object, 2D. So we don't use Z axis. OK, now let's see the UV map with a cube. Let's do the plane. And let's add Mesh Cube, a 3D object. And let's reuse this setup. And now, as you can notice, we have some faces, for example, this one that is red, this one is more green yellow, this one is yellow, this one is green. So, why looks like, like this? Remember, the UV map is all the surface unwrapped. So, with this color, the red one, we know that this is the bottom of the UV map. If you understand it better, let's open a new tab and let's select UV Editor. And this is the UV map. Now we cannot see anything because we don't have any texture. But if I select this cube and I press Tab to go to Edit Mode, you can see this cube unwrap in the UV map. So this face that is more red is this face. This one. This one is this one. And if we move this cube, we can see, for example, that this face is this face. Or, for example, this one that is more green is this one. Because remember, the zero was here, and this was the U axis, and this one the B axis. So this part is more red and this part is more green and this part more yellow. So if we go here, we can see easily which part is the bottom, which part is the top, left and right. Now let's see this with an image. To add an image here, we are going to come back here 
and let's use image texture. Let's add it here and we can create a new image with a new color or we can use an image, for example, a logo. Let's click here and I'm going to use my own logo. Now we can see here the image, but we cannot see it here in the UV editor. Why? Because here we need to select the image that we are using. So now we can see the image. I'm going to zoom out and you can see that the image is inside this plane, the 2D layout. That if we wrap this, I'm going to press tab, as you can see, if we wrap this cube, we get this image in this cube. So remember, to see the faces unwrap, go to edit mode. And if you want to move this image inside these faces, what you can do is to select these faces. For example, pressing A, and if I press S, I can make it smaller. And for example, I can move it, and now it's been only project in all the cube this part of the image, as you can see here. Or what I can do is press S and make it really big and insert it in only one face. And now we are seeing the logo in one face. Actually, we are seeing more faces because here we have activated repeat. But if we select clip, we only see this image in the center face of this cube. So this one. So as you can see, this is a UV map, and this is how we can play to try to fit an image, a texture, in our 3D object. So I recommend you to play with an image to understand better how it works. And if you want to learn more, what you can do is to create a new image, but first we have to come back to object mode, so we can see this menu, and click in this button. And here we have three types of image. Blank is this one that you can select any color and will be only one color. And then we have these two, UV grid and color grid. UV grid, if we create this image, is basically this image as you can see, a simple UV grid. But also what we can do is to create this one, color grid. And if we click here, it's this image that probably you see it a lot in other tutorials. So this image is really useful to see better where is the coordinates of our object. Now, if you want to change the image to your object, remember you have to go here, click this button and select that image. So now it's easier to see where is every face because here we have this number and letters. If not remember, press tab. And now you can see, for example, this face that have G5 is, for example, this one, the top. And you can do like before, press S to change the scale. Also, you can press R to move this, or what you can do is to select one corner and start, for example, playing. Right now, in this phase, I'm adding all this zone. And as a final tip, if you want to control every phase separately, so I want to move only this path, this phase, what you can do is to come back to edit mode, remember, and press U, and then select a smart UV project. And here you can increase this number, and this will give some space to all the faces. For example, let's try this number and click on wrap. And now, as you can see, we separate every face with a margin. You can increase this margin in the previous menu. So I can do, for example, right now is select this face. And I have more control. And I can say, in this face, that is this one, show me this. Or I can make this smaller, rotate it, and I can do the same with the other faces. So I hope with all these explanations and examples, you learn more what is a UV map and how it works. So if you like this video, I will appreciate it a lot that you give a like, subscribe, and remember you can donate all my projects and watch exclusive tutorials on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.